Pinch of Nom Comfort Food Cookbook is the subject of today's Food for Thought. Good evening, my name is Jodie Bunting and this is the 2020 version of the Pinch of Nom Cookbook by Kate and Kay uh, of Slimming World. Uh, so the last few years uh, the dieting book uh, industry has been ploughed down by Pinch of Nom. Kate and Kay have literally come up with the best ideas um, and they have been just the leaders basically over the last four or five years. There's been lots of different coloured books, the red one, the green one, the blue one. The one this year is yellow and it's all about comfort food. So all those lovely winter foods that you will enjoy. As always with my book reviews, I have folded in some paper of my favourite recipes and we are going to uh, go in there and have a little look at those recipes. Uh, as always with Slimming World, um, there is a lot of um, pasta based recipes so I try and skip those ones out and noodles and stuff like that and obviously just point out the more nutritious ones. So let's delve into this straight away. Uh, with my first one. Uh, now there is sections in it all and there's breakfast, lunches, uh, dinners, some sides as well. So we'll go through the different sections. Uh, this one is the breakfast one and this is a slow cooker twin topped porridge oats basically. So for those of you who love using your slow cooker, isn't it nice just when your whole house just smells of something lovely uh, and you know what it's like when you come home from work and it smells great and it's ready to go. Well, this is the breakfast version. So before you go to bed, you just put all the ingredients in. Uh, there's one with uh, banana and nuts and there's another one with like a compote. Uh, I think that's a rhubarb one as well. Uh, so that's my first recipe that I was drawn to. The next one for breakfast were these chocolate pancakes. Now it's a, just the usual pancake recipe, but they are using porridge oats in there uh, just to bring the calories down and obviously make them nice and substantial. Um, now this is a nice one. This is a pizza topped omelette. So basically it's just an omelette, but what they've done, as well as putting the items in the middle, they've also made it like a pizza and put the uh, potato, sorry, tomatoes on the top then also added a topping as well to make it look like a lovely looking pizza so I really like the idea of that one and obviously very low carb because it is just an omelette that looks like a pizza uh, this is a nice curry one so this is a pasanda um, it's kind of a sweet cheesy almond sort of curry and again just the little tips there show you how to keep it nice and low calorie uh, this is also floating my boat. Uh, this is a creamy lemon chicken. So again, a twist uh, with lemon chicken. And what they've done here is added the spinach there to A, get the nutrients in, but also stop you from missing the uh, rice or pasta or whatever you'd normally have with lemon chicken. Um, another great one here, margarita chicken. Uh, so margarita pizza, but no, it's tomato, it's cheese on chicken. Look how amazing that looks. So if you guys, if you, you're the sort of person that like Hunter's chicken, you know, like a bit saucy and tasty, that's a good alternative. This is another curry recipe, and this is a peanut butter chicken curry. Look at that. I love peanut butter. So, and again, the good thing about peanut butter, it's really strong in flavour, uh, and as long as you don't use too much of it, uh, good calorie wise. Uh, this is a spicy Caribbean lamb curry. Again, that looks really delicious and it's got the nutrients in there. Uh, because as well it's got the potatoes in, um, then again, you're not really going to miss having rice with that. It's also got some coconut milk as well, so it'll be lovely and thick. Check out this. It's rainbow soup. So we're all looking for low calorie soups. Obviously a lot of them are cream based uh, or can contain quite a lot of calories. This one is a rainbow one. It's got crunchy vegetables. So it's a little bit like a, a Japanese sort of soup, which I love the idea of. Now this next one, this is the one where they use the picture on the marketing for the book and it's chili cheese nachos. Now nachos are in brackets, 
because they don't actually use chips for it. What they do, we turn the page, is actually use potato wedges. So you can see there, they've got potato wedges, loads of chilli, and then they've got like a lovely cheese sauce. Now, I love nachos and I would love that. So if you're entertaining or something like that, if you serve that up, guys, people wouldn't know you were doing a low calorie um, buffet, would you, if they saw that? And again, there's some recipes, side recipes for some salsa as well you can put on the side. You could even do a little bit of guacamole. Uh, next up, I can't believe it's not butter chicken. So it's basically a butter chicken uh, recipe, uh, but obviously without all the oil and the huge amount of calories in the normal butter chicken. Uh, I love this idea. It's a bangers and mash pie. And this just sums up. Remember, it's the comfort food book. Bangers and mash pie. So basically, it's like a cottage pie. Uh, but they've used the sausages in the bottom there. And it's just little twists like that, little ideas. Um, obviously, kids would also like that sort of thing. Uh, one pot Sunday beef. So again, if you think about the idea of a Sunday dinner, a lot of people just don't like the idea of cooking with loads of different pans. Uh, and it just shows you how you can put it all together into one pan. And voila, you have your Sunday dinner. Uh, next up, German potato soup. So again, a nice potato soup, which is root vegetable based and not all about tomatoes as well. Because we've talked before, uh, there can be a very tomato soup, the low calorie ones. But this is a root vegetable German potato soup. Uh, next up, this is also genius. This is a Greek potato stew so very much like a, a normal stew but then they've crumbled on top there the feta cheese that will be gorgeous i need to try that one uh next one another soup a creamy chicken soup for so more of a traditional one and again it just has a balance there by putting the spices in the herbs in there and obviously you won't need as much cream for that one uh fish chowder uh, I don't know about you, but I always have like a chowder when I'm out and it's literally like a meal. So you can see how lovely and thick and how there's got lots of nice fish in there as well. And you can buy those uh, mac uh, frozen mixes of fish as well that you can use for that. Uh, this is Kate's tagine. Uh, if you've ever been to a Moroccan restaurant or been to Morocco, uh, tagine is so healthy because it is literally just meat, vegetables, uh, and then with different spices and cooked very slowly. Uh, and that's what makes it taste fabulous. So again, if you are looking for something different, definitely try a tagine. Vegetarian cottage pie jackets. Again, I love this twist. So all it is is a jacket potato. She scooped it out, put some bolognese in, and then put the mashed potato back on the top and basically made a cottage pie in a jacket potato. Genius. Genius. Uh, next up, steak and chips pie. So on here... <laughs> Really, K and K, I love you. Um, and the bottom there, it's just literally stewing steak, and then they put the chips on the top, and it's literally a pie. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, next up, creamy garlic salmon. So again, there's lovely flavours in the sauce there with the salmon. So again, you're not going to miss uh, the chips or the rice or something you need it. Um, and because it's going to be quite thick and lovely and tasty, that sauce, having it with something fresh like asparagus, as suggested here, would be great. Uh, and then finally, we go into the section where is it about sides. Uh, I love the idea of this. And this is balsamic roasted onions. Uh, there's quite a few side dishes. Now in the dessert section, there's a lot of flour based desserts. So I've gone some of the non flour ones. This is chocolate baked bananas. And all it is is bananas halved uh, with some sweet syrup. So like the, um, what is it called? Sweet freedom chocolate syrup. So all it is a little bit of that and then baked. They have added some marshmallows, but you don't need to do that. Just enough of the sweet freedom chocolate. Um, is enough with the baked banana and then the last couple uh, Mexican hot chocolate it's basically a homemade hot chocolate uh, and they've added in there a little bit of chili powder with the cinnamon and vanilla extract so 
again that will be delicious and they recommend making it with almond milk as well so look how nice and again if you do like the idea of chili and chocolate that is fab and my last one we are from derbyshire so we should recommend the bakewell rice pudding uh so all it is is it's got the jam in or, or should i say the cherries in it's got the almonds in and then it's a traditional rice pudding uh made the low calorie way the other thing that they've not done before in these books they've done a special equipment section on a lot of the recipes and they show you how you can make a lot of these recipes in the pressure cooker or in a slow cooker so this is really nice to see and that's in all the recipes as well so if something can be made in a different way it the, they've shown you the on the hob method or in the oven method and they've also got the slow cooker method or the pressure cooker method and that's it guys so that is the pinch of norm a comfort book which is new for 2022 uh, and that's by the lovely Kay and kate uh, there's a link on this video if you'd like to buy it through amazon i would really recommend it um, i don't really make the exact recipes but it certainly gives me some great ideas on what foods to combine uh, and definitely how you can mix things up especially those jacket potato cottage pies and the steak and chips pie genius right guys that's it for me for now i'll be back tomorrow morning with another live workout live at 8am bye for now